Okay, so what is the S4 HANA readiness check and what it would be doing? S4 HANA readiness check has to be starting, started developing from 2019 itself. And by the time we came to the 2020 and 2021, it came into a very good shape. So S4 HANA readiness check is a big brother of all these things, right? They have said, okay, we, we, have, we need to check these things manually for the basis team. And then we have a maintenance planner. Then we have a pre-check. And then we would be having a custom code adoptions, which we need to check. In custom code adoptions, we need to check that at which place the similar programs are given for the custom code adoptions also, which would be telling that which custom programs we need to change it. We need to adopt it because of the CDS view, because of the data model changes, or because of the BAPIS changes, or because of the uh, IDOC structure changes, or let's say the material length is changed from uh, 18 to 40. When we write a program in bracket, we write 18, right? And in many places, we need to change it to 40. Standard program SAP has done it, but the custom code, we need to do it. A wrappers need to do it. So that custom code adoptions also were, is required. So that part and the pre-check part will happen uh, in parallel. But to check for the basis team, to check for the functional team, to check for the BAP team, they have given a different, different tools. Then the point came that why don't we combine them together and create a single tool which can be used by all of them and it can also answer a lot of other things. In these tools, still there are some questions which is not answered. What Fury applications I need to use? I'm moving from transaction course to Fury. As per my usage, whether SAP can recommend Boss, these are the list of Fury applications, which you should use it, which will be helpful for you. What should be the size of my database? What should be size of my in-memory when I'm going, because the data footprint reduction is going to happen. So I need to put my HANA database. What should be the size of the HANA database, right? So those all, all, all kind of other questions also SAP has tried to answer with the S for HANA readiness check. It's an online product, it's an online tool. To run this product, again, you need to uh, implement multiple SAP nodes into your ECC system. You need to extract the data into the files from the ECC system. That would be done by the basis team. And then the basis team would be uploading into the readiness check. And then you as a functional consultant would be the end user of the readiness check. You would be seeing the report and the outcomes, which has been shown in a very good way, in a graphical way. It's not that the screen which I was showing, clumsy blue screen. It's a graphical way you will see in the Fury way with analytics, how many issues are in red, how many issues are in green, that things would be available. And then you would be also be able to see that what are the areas, impacted areas are there, which areas are more impacted, whether sourcing and procurement or whether sales, which part you need to give more efforts. And you would be able to do a very good project planning with the resources with S4 HANA readiness check.